Who Donald Trump has taken a lot of action in his first few days here as president. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people say, well, what, what, what actions? Uh, let's give you the top three. They've been trending all day, and people are, of course, furious, which we love. Uh, number one, Donald Trump today has uh, stated that he is going forward on building that wall. Remember that promise? So if you don't uh, get an actual check, the Mexican government for 8 or 10 or $12 billion, whatever it will cost, how are you going to make them pay for the wall? I will, and the wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. Oh! Today was a good day. Oh! Ooh. It's pretty good. Damn. Pretty good. Uh, another thing that just happened today, I don't know if you remember his promise, but now he's going to follow through. He has put a stop, or is trying to put a stop, mm -hmm to refugee immigrants from war-torn Islamic countries. Let's, let's go back in memory lane. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Today was a oh! good day. Finally, uh, this one is one of our favorites, not so much a statement from him as a result of his actions. For the first time in recorded history, mm -hmm. the Dow Jones, well, let's run the news clip. This is an altitude where the New York Stock Exchange has never been before. 20,000. Today was a good day. Oh! You know what? You know what? It looks like I peed myself. You know what? Today. Yeah! yeah! Let's uh, expand upon <laughs> Donald J. Trump, President Donald J. Trump. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, <laughs> you were going to hate it again, were you? No, 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 no. Shivers. So he's cracking down on Islamic immigration, or immigration from refugees. And people are really mad saying this is hateful. Well, seven Islamic countries are included here. Syria, Iraq, Iran, Libya, Yemen, and Somalia, Sudan. Places that harbor terrorists. Ah. In fact, so a lot of people are saying, well, this is hateful. How could he do this? Well, let me, let me take a stab at it. Here's some stats from uh, G German police commissions on their crimes. So let's go right here. Uh, the first stat, there we go, Naka Jared has it up. Those are all the murders. <laughs> Occurring in Germany, no by nationality. Is there a theme going on there? Is there a theme going on? Look at that. It is startling. Let's bring up the second stat when it comes to the rape. Now I know, I know what you're thinking. That looks a lot like the murder graph. It does. One would say there might almost oh. be a correlation. It might be a correlation. <laughs> Entirely from Islamic countries. We've known about Cologne, where there are thousands of sexual assaults. Uh, Sweden, now the rape capital of the West, where they've been taking, they, they've tried this policy. They've been taking in refugees for a very long time. We've been talking about this. Uh, the gang rapes that, of course, occurred in Germany. What else do we have? Uh, but we're talking about Sweden. Austria saw so much refugee crime that it actually was the single biggest uh, influencer in their election. Reuters has reported 69,000, 69,000 crimes from refugees um, just in the first three months of 2016. Some might call that staggering. Some season. might call that a statistic that would be statistically noticeable. Yes. Some no, might noteworthy say. Noteworthy indeed. And that's what, like we talked about earlier in the week, people say, well, you know, Americans are so intolerant. Actually, more than 60% of Germans, more than 50% of people from the UK want a full ban on the burqa compared to only 25% of Americans. So even though they're further to the left of the United States, they want their free health care. They, they don't want to pay for stuff. They, they, they obviously don't have any national defense to speak of. You're welcome, courtesy of America. They've been down this path, and they're saying, America, now get, get your act together. We don't want it. And for some reason, leftists in the United States, uh, perhaps uh, because they're unable to hear through their pussy hats, are unable to heed their warnings. They are well insulated, Stephen. So uh, th this is where we are. I'm a huge fan of the fact that Donald Trump wants to put a temporary ban on Islamic refugees because we know it hasn't worked well. Here's something else that's upset people really, really badly. Uh, Slate, actually. So Trump wrote this. This is something that when I read it, I thought, well, doesn't that seem incredibly benign? This is from the WhiteHouse.gov page as it relates to law enforcement. They wrote, the Trump administration will be a law and order administration. President Trump will honor our men and women in uniform and will support their mission of protecting the public. The dangerous anti-police atmosphere in America is wrong. The Trump administration will end it. So what does Slate say? 
Slate, they have an article here where they say Donald Trump is going after Black Lives Matter, going after Black America, which we'll get to in a second. Because I think that's an unbelievable admission that they're not entirely aware of. Yeah. The, the part that they wrote about in Slate that really upset them was our job is not to make life more comfortable for the rioter, the looter, or the violent disruptor. They said that our job is to make life more comfortable, safer for the senior citizen waiting for a bus, the mom taking her daughter to school. I sure this thought it was, it was very thoughtfully written, beautifully written. Slate saw that and said um, to the Black Lives Matter movement, this makes it clear to the Black Lives Matter movement, you are not welcome in Trump's America. Hold on a second. That's a tacit admission that Black Lives Matter consists of violent looters and violent disruptors and protesters. To give you an idea, listen, Donald Trump does not want to go after, and this is what the left wants to do, right? Of course, Donald Trump, he's a fascist, is how they want to sell it. He just wants to go after anyone. No, 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 no. There were about 200, uh, I think 250, could be about 230, I don't have it offhand, arrests, and they might even do up to 10 years from inauguration mm -hmm. protests, right? Now, that sounds bad, but take that number, from the tens of thousands, according to CNN, or the billions, according to Sean Spicer, who attended the inauguration, split the difference, I think is reasonable. Eh, somewhere, somewhere between the two. Um, of the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who attended the inauguration and people who protested the inauguration, 250 is remarkably subdued. So what does that tell you? They're not going after people holding up signs saying, not my president, illegitimate president, Donald Trump sucks, or hands off my pussy. They're going after people who are throwing trash cans ablaze through Starbucks windows and uh, destroying uh, small businesses. So it's easy to point to 250. That's because there were hundreds of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people protesting peacefully. The people who were violent disruptors get put in prison. Am I the only one who finds this uh, remarkably logical? Yes. Seems, seems uh, pretty good to me. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. You can tweet me at his credit. There's Tell not me much more to say about it. That's how logical it is. No. Well, here's something else. Of course, the left is saying, well, this is fascism to a T. It's silencing voices of dissent. No, it's not. It's putting criminals behind bars. And just to, well, I'm, maybe you might disagree with me, but I don't think this is something that a fascist would typically write. He went on to write, and this was not included in the Slate article, supporting law enforcement means supporting our, I mean, I should, supporting law enforcement means supporting our citizens' ability to protect themselves. Okay, we will uphold American Second Amendment rights at every level of our judicial system. Now, would it stand to reason, Your Honor, that fascists, when they want to overpower a people, a populace, um, that they typically don't want to arm as many of those people as humanly possible? <laughs> Again, fascists, you, you don't give more people guns. G guns, firearms, and the reason it's so important as the Second Amendment is it's, it's, a, it's emblematic of freedom. It's autonomy. It's the great equalizer. All of a sudden, a woman is as strong as a man. A weak man is as strong as a big man. That's why they called the Colt Revolver, the great equalizer. That's what it is. It's a representation of freedom. Hence why most fascists and dictators disarm their citizens. But um, I guess, you know, listen, Trump, Trump, Trump's clearly a fascist. Uh, he shares more in common, I think, with a lot of fascists in the past than maybe we want to admit. Um, and we were going through the archives and, well, we, we did stumble. I'm surprised you found this. In the spirit of, of being honest... And being fair, we did come across this archive um, that we thought was startlingly comparable to Donald Trump, Adolf Hitler. After his surprising ascension to power, it is now Adolf Hitler, the Fuhrer, who will lay out his national policy for the future of a great Germany. And so I say to you, great people, my first actions will be to ensure that every household, including Judens, have firearms to protect their own individual rights and liberties. A Luga for everyone, even Judens. Also, I will ensure lower taxes on small businesses for every German, including Judens. You will pay no more than 15%. Also, six weeks paid maternity leave for every German. This poor size and the working so quickly after your service has violated. Must stop now. Poor size and after that, we will defund Planned Parenthood and then invade Poland. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mugclub members. If you're a student, military, or veteran entering that promo code, it's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.